It is day five of the trial of Michael Terrio, a Toronto Police Constable, and his brother Christian, who is a civilian. They are char charged jointly with aggravated assault, accused by the prosecution of using a meter-long metal pipe on then 19-year-old DeFonte Miller almost three years ago, of beating him so severely that he lost an eye. Mr. Miller was scheduled to take the stand today, but other witnesses' testimony took longer than expected, so he will testify tomorrow. DeFonte Miller walked slowly with his family into the Oshawa courthouse today. His left eye had to be surgically removed after the incident and is now apparently fitted with a white prosthetic. Court earlier heard from an expert medical witness who said the eye essentially exploded during the altercation. He also suffered a broken orbital bone, nose and jaw and reduced vision in his other eye. Court has already heard testimony from Brad Good and Antonio Jack, the two friends who were with DeFonte Miller on that residential street in Whitby in the early hours of December 28, 2016. Good told the court that the young men had been car hopping, breaking into unlocked cars and stealing any valuables. Antonio Jack, who is right now serving a two-year sentence for a firearm conviction, this morning told a different story. He denied they were car hopping and testified that they were just walking and trying to score some marijuana. Michael Terrio's lawyer accused Jack of lying under oath. Court has also heard from the attending Durham police officer's testimony that Constable Terrio, who was off duty at the time, and Christian Terrio told them after the incident that the brothers had caught DeFonte Miller and his buddy breaking into their dad's truck. When the two black teenagers took off, the brothers chased and caught up with Miller, but said that Miller was the one who had possession of the metal pipe, that he was the one to hit them with it numerous times. Constable Sean McCoy testified today that he checked both the brothers for blood but didn't find any. In the statement that Michael Terrio gave to McCoy that night, he said that they were fighting for their lives. They did not know if Miller might have had another weapon on him, possibly a knife. Eventually, the brothers wrestled the pipe away from Miller and restrained him until police arrived. When McCoy asked how Miller got injured, Terrio said in the fight. The Terrio brothers are also facing charges of obstruction of justice for the way they described the incident to investigators. The trial is being heard by a judge alone and expected to last about another two weeks.